go to Don on this. Don, you're a romantic, a uh, bit of a storyteller. What would you <laughs> rather see from like a, a fan's perspective? Would you rather see Messi be a, a one club guy throughout his career? Or do you have some curiosity? I think like a lot of people, what would it look like to see Messi in a different shirt? Yeah, well, Ali paints a great picture of the house being on fire. It actually tickled me listening to him. But I think from a fan's point of view, um, I think he needs help, Messi. I think that's clear and obvious. I think the job that he's done since he's been there has been remarkable. And players and legendary players, and I'm not knocking these players because it happens to us all. When you see the likes of Busquets and you see the likes of Luis Suarez, you can physically see that they've done so many miles and, and so many trophies and they've put so much into Barcelona. They've just got, gotten old over probably a two or three year period. So from a fan's point of view, the Neymar story will never, ever go away until he actually says he's committing his future to PSG, which he never likely does, because I think in his heart of hearts, he'd love to go back to Spain, love to go back to Barca. So I could quite easily see, and I'm just painting this picture with, with, with you know, no intelligence of what the, what the financial situation is like at Barca. But all of a sudden, I could see a Messi playing in a different position with someone like Neymar taking the lead and Neymar playing further forward and, and, and Lionel Messi having that free role to just go and do what he does as long as you build a side with Frankie de Jong and whoever it might be, if it's Miralem Pjanic coming in in that central midfield. But they need a rebuild and they need it quick because a club like Barca, they shouldn't be humiliated. And this story hasn't happened overnight. It's no coincidence when you see the, the result against Roma two or three years ago, you see the result against Liverpool last season and the 8-2 against Bayern. This has been coming and it has been coming and it's been happening for quite a while. Gab, I saw that face you made. Uh, why don't you tell us what the face was about? You don't think Messi will move back to make space for Neymar? Look, I, I, I don't see how Neymar could be coming. I mean, this is the fact, right? Uh, with all due respect to the two former pros you have there, um, in the end, they don't take pay cuts, right? They very, very, very rarely do you see footballers say, taking a pay cut to make themselves happy. So, and the only way Neymar goes back to Barcelona is if he takes a pay cut and, and, and if Griezmann takes a pay cut to go somewhere else and whatever. So, you know, I appreciate the picture Don painted because that's maybe what, what he would like to see. But uh, there is a different reality, a different dynamic uh, here at work. And I think what this is, is essentially Lionel Messi exercising a power play. And I think, and I don't say that in a negative way, I say it in a positive way. This wasn't just him meeting face to face with Ronald Koeman. This is Ronald Koeman coming to Messi's house in Castel de Fels, uh, just outside Barcelona by the beach, uh, going to pay his respects to Messi. And Messi saying, listen, I don't see myself here. I see myself more out the, outside, uh, away from this club than at this club. That clause I told you about earlier, by May 31st, he can leave on a free transfer. I, nobody's been able to confirm whether, uh, because the season was extended because of COVID, uh, perhaps that clause was extended as well. Uh, so Messi has incredible leverage here, and I think he has certain goals. And uh, his first goal is the well-being of Barcelona. How he gets there uh, is, I think, what Messi is still deciding. Um, there will be new elections, and I think Messi wants to exert his influence to make sure that the club do what he thinks is best. And the only way he has leverage is if he threatens uh, to leave, if he comes out with something like that, because then at that point, you know, the whole ceiling caves in on, on, on Bartomeu. But the way the club is right now, they have to listen to what Messi says. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.